What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and it's actually a pretty nice cool morning. It's about 70 degrees and it's going to be a fun day because today we are replacing that tank and we're going to go pick up half a cow. So let's get the morning started. I see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold and happy but it's going to be about 104 degrees today and all of the water barrels for all the animals are they're about halfway but they're going to drink through that pretty quickly today I feel like so we're going to fill up everybody's water today so we are down at the creek we did get a little bit of rain last week we got it about one or two inches so the creek is a little bit higher now if you watched last week's video I kind of went over how we water our animals from the creek we have this big IBC tote that is, it had, I think it had vanilla in it, so it was water safe. We cleaned out a long, long time ago. We were going to use it for water catchment, but we turned it into a hydration station instead. So we've got that tote, and we're going to fill it from the creek with this pump. But last week's video explains all that, so let's get everybody water before it gets too hot. Right, so the new tank is installed, it's pretty and shiny and new. So now with the bigger tank, it means I can get a propane stove in the house, which I am super excited about, but that is, of course, a later project. Now for this little guy, we're actually going to move him over to by the greenhouse. And that way we can use propane heat in the greenhouse as supplemental heat. But now that 
We've got that settled. We can head to the butcher shop and pick up our half a cow. Let's go. So we order our cows half a cow at a time just because of space. We didn't plan on actually ordering another half a cow. We have a half a cow in one of our freezers already. But when the opportunity arose, we decided to jump on it. We pay, right now we pay $4.20 per pound. And that includes our processing fee. Depending on where you're at in the country, that may sound ridiculously expensive or super cheap. Every area is different, but that's what we paid. Last year we were paying $3.50 a pound, but of course everything has gone up in price. So let's get these bags opened and we'll show you what we got. All right, so this is what a half a, pound, or a, half a cow looks like to include three bags of ground beef. And these are two pound packages. I haven't even counted out how many are there. I'll put it on the screen how many are there. But we've got like our rib steaks, we've got a bunch of different roasts, arm roasts, um, round roasts, ribs, we've got flank steaks, sirloin tips, our cube steaks. We've got little T-bones on this guy, but a lot of them, so that's good. Some truck roasts, stew meat, and then the soup bones, as well as all of the extra fat that we're going to render down. So... Let's see if we can get this to fit in the fridge that we already have half a cow in. So let's check this out. Will it fit? No. I don't think it's going to fit. But thankfully we have a backup freezer. Alright, so it fits. Up here we've just got some leftover bacon that was in here. But with these bins, it makes it a little bit easier to keep track of where everything is at. Even all of the ground beef fit which is nice. I've got my soup bones over here and then all of our roasts and steaks and everything is kind of kind of organized so we can easily find what we're looking for. All right so yesterday kind of got away from us so it is the next day and it's a little bit windy today which is kind of nice but we got the cow put away. Now I know a lot of people have never even considered buying a whole cow, half a cow, or even you can buy them by the quarter even. And so I know also a lot of people don't know even where to start that process. So let's go over a little bit of that. Now of course the first thing you're going to want to actually do is find a local butcher or a local farm. Butcher will probably be your best bet and just ask them if they sell beef by the half or by the quarter or even the whole beef. And if they don't, they may be able to send you in the direction of where you need to go. But also, of course, Google places that sell around your area and even Craigslist will sometimes have them under the farm section. Uh, hello, Mimos. How are you doing? Now, once you have found some place that will sell you your cow, whether it be the whole half or quarter, there are some very important things you'll want to ask about that cow before you go ahead and buy it. One of the biggest and most important questions is how much? Obviously every area is going to be different and every place is going to price differently. I know when we were looking for a half a cow for our family in Arizona, a lot of places would charge per pound for the cow, but you'd also have to pay for the processing and that can make a big difference in your final price. Now for us, we pay an average of about $4.20 per hanging weight of our cattle and that includes our processing fee. So for us, that's a really good deal because our ground beef, even at our local grocery store, averages about $4.70 a pound. So $4.20 a pound for steaks and brisket and roasts and ground beef is a great deal for us. Now another important question would be, what type of cattle is it? Obviously you're going to get a lot more meat off of a Black Angus than you would off of, say, Carla here who is a Dexter. 
but don't worry, Carla. We're not going to eat you. No, you're too. And another question you'll want to ask your farmer is how your beef will be finished off. Some farms grass feed only, some grass feed and grain finish. And again, <laughs> Brutus, it is all about your personal preference on what type of beef you want. So be sure to ask that as well. And then a question to ask your butcher is how they package their beef. Now it's all about personal preference. Some butchers will do everything in butcher paper. Some will vacuum pack. And it's again, it's your preference. Just make sure whatever butcher you choose does the preference that you want. And then finally, a lot of people will ask, well, what kind of cuts am I going to get? And again, that is all up to you. Most butchers will have a cut sheet for you to choose what exactly you want. And what you choose on there is going to be dependent on how much ground beef you get versus how much steak and other cuts that you get. So when you do talk to a butcher, ask them for their cut sheet and maybe have them explain it to you if you're not familiar with it. That way you can get exactly what you want. Right. So that is pretty much everything I can think of at this time. If you have specific questions about purchasing beef for your own freezer, just leave them down in the comments below and I will try to answer them the best that I can. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every single week. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You don't say, can I get a moo?